guys, and welcome back to Heroes of Might and Magic 2. As always, I am Demonfire93, and last time we finished off the Southern War, and today we get to choose between Ivory Gates or the Elven Lands. Gain in favor of the elves, they will not allow trees to be chopped down, so we will send you wood every two weeks. You must complete your mission before the first day of the seventh month, or the kingdom will surely fall. That sounds lovely. Or take the castle of Ivory Gates, which has fallen due to treachery. Okay. So we either gain the support of the elves or not. Um, I would like the support of the elves because elven archers are pretty good. And since they will send me wood every two weeks. I feel like starting with an extra 20 wood would be useful, so we're gonna go with that. The diplomat who were sent Wow. Diplomats. Okay, that makes much more sense. I was gonna say, that's terrible grammar. The diplomats who are sent here ahead of you report that the elves will only cooperate with you if you will recover the golden bow for them. It was stolen by their enemies, the dragons, and hidden behind magic barriers. Okay. Oh, good. I get to be a sorceress. Always wanted to be a sorceress. <laughs> well, nope, that's not what I clicked on. Thank you, though. Ooh, we already get a start with upgraded archer or uh, upgraded elves. <clears throat> uh, we don't have enough to get the the Stonehenge because I bought stuff. Well, hey, look, it's Uncle Ivan and his barbarian self. Okay. Well, is there any gold around in these starting areas? That would... Oh, there's a battle down that way. Skeletons. Uh, it's not. Okay, well, we already used up our first turn, so we might as well buy something. So we're going to go with the marketplace. A shipment of wood has arrived from your kingdom. Oh, so there are no enemies. That's actually pretty good. Oh, this is a marketplace. Whoops. Sure, I'll accept the dwarves. It looks like a tree that should be a thing, but it's not. All right. Well, that was at the end of day two. But these months are going to come by, go by fast. If I'm not going to be attacked by anything, I don't need to buy the turrets or the moat. Why bother? Nor will I need the tavern. And the thieves' guild, sh no. Don't need that either. Looking for some... Ah, oh, there's some gold. Can I make it? Just barely. Do I have enough for the Stonehenge now? I do. All right, that's all of our ore. Okay. <laughs> well, hi peasants. Get. Okay, I guess sure you can follow me. I'm only gonna dismiss you in like a minute or two. Whenever. I like this not having an enemy thing. It makes the game a lot easier. I mean, there is an enemy. It's an army of dragons, which means we're screwed. Because by the time we get over there with a strong army, they will have a billion fucking dragons. You know that's what's gonna be the case. It's always how it works. But... Here's hoping that's not the case. Okay, what do we need for the... Fence meadow. Gems. Find me a gem mine, lady. You notice that mines and resources in the Elvish lands are few, and you send word to your kingdom that you will need extra supplies. They should respond within a fortnight. That's nice. I'm, I'm so glad that my kingdom is so responsive and reasonable like that, that they will take my word into consideration and will bring me more supplies. That, that's good. Skeletons are weak, but still, I don't want to take my chances. The sprites are also weak, so... <coughs> Send the peasants. They're cannon fodder. Shoot that one. Make him nearly dead. Well, you got separated from the pack. So now you get to die. 
Let's see how many the battle dwarves can kill. All six. Okay. It's your turn, peasants. You lost 20 of you, but then you killed all of them regardless. Good job. Looks like I won't have to actually get rid of you. You'll just get rid of yourselves. And the zombies. Okay. <clears throat> well. I mean, I could, you know. Let's get Uncle Ivan. He seems like he'll be very useful in this, you know, sorceress land. Hey, has it been a week yet? I don't know, but I'm gonna check this again. Nope, okay. <coughs> Probably like, yeah, it's day seven now. Of course it is. Zombies! Also wish to fight, eh? Ah, oh, they're much stronger than the skeletons. I only killed one with one, with the double shot of the arrows. All right, tactics. We're moving tactically. Hmm. How do I do this? Higgins and the peasants as far as possible. They don't move very fast. I love how they move so terribly. They block each other like that. Oh no, two sprites perished. Damn them. Then they're gonna go for the sprites again. Of course. Six sprites perished. Ten sprites perished. Pretty much. Fucking garbage ass zombies killing my sprites for no goddamn reason. What do they ever do? I mean, they they were the one that killed. The f they shed or drew first blood on your other people. But still, fuck you. They're weak as hell. Leave them alone. And fight somebody else. You're worthless, sprites. Get out of here. There are five of you. Do you understand that? Five of you. Could y'all stop that? One battle dwarf. Go, my peasant. There you go. See, why can't they all attack the fucking peasant like they attack the sprites? They're all focused on the dwarf now. What the hell? What kind of bullshit is this? You're worthless, sprite. So we're just gonna skip your damn turn. Okay, so we lost a little bit more there. Wasn't great. Wasn't the worst thing ever, though. Hey, look, Ivan, you could get some skeletons here. Or some medusas. You know, you love those medusas. They're some of your favorite troops. Those in his army all the time last level. So we got pikemen and we got a pile of gold. Good job, Ivan, on getting that pile of gold. Stop here and get the windmill and then uh, head on down to take the Medusas, because that's going to be your only troops for this army, really. Because you're not going to take sorcerous troops. That would be terrible of you. So your, your, your main troop, Ivan, is going to just be that you get Medusas on top of your barbarian troops. Unless we run into an abandoned barbarian castle somewhere. Oh no, one battle dwarf perished. Bastard. <laughs> There's one skeleton left. Funny. And all those ones are dead. Don't go up there, asshole. Why do you have to fucking fight the damn sprites? Why is that your fucking prerogative? You fuck right off right now. Stupid son of a bitch. Fight something actually useful.
You collected two sulfur. And then they're gonna be blocked from being able to get through here, right? Oh, okay. Good. Next day, he comes through. And look at this, we can upgrade our dwarves so that we only have one stack of dwarves. <clears throat> it would be so lovely to buy something that would allow me to get better troops, upgrade troops, anything like that, but I can't. So Ivan, just go ahead and collect those medusas. Meanwhile, what's, what is your name even? Natasha. Natasha the Sorceress. Well, Natasha, you got some spells there, I see. Go collect the... Nope, never mind. Don't collect the dwarves. You don't have room for them anymore. Go kill those pikemen, though. This give us luck in the next battle, so we do need that. Yes, thank you. Okay. Ivan? Yes, recruit the Medusas. Hmm, I don't trust the graveyard. Never have. Makes me feel like it's gonna be some damn ghosts, and I don't like the ghosts. And if you have watched any of my videos, know that I do not like the ghosts in Heroes Might Magic games. They are terrible. Well, in 1 and 2, anyways. When, when they weren't uh, um, included in a faction, they were awful because they would destroy every army you could put in, in front of them. Like, what's that? You got a great army of guys? You know it would be real terrible? If we fucking murdered them and then added their ranks to ours. It's like, what kind of bullshit is that? Form up. That's right. Attack the dwarves head on. That makes... Oh, well, fuck you. How come you got to move super far? Why does no one want to go for the damn peasants? Seriously. Are peasants not powerful? Like, not a, a target on people's backs? Because I would assume that they are. I would assume people would be like, I fucking hate these peasants. They're weak as shit. I mean, they're doing it to the sprites. So why would they not be doing that to the... It makes no sense. I hate you. I fucking hate you. I just want you all to die. That's right, they can't retaliate to sprites. I remember that now. That, that maybe that's why they got their sprites, is because it's like an enemy that I can't retaliate against? I must kill. So, which way to the dragons, then? Eh? This seems lovely. Ah, dwarves, join? Fuck you. You should join me, assholes. Maybe I should have gone with diplomacy, like waited until I leveled up a couple more times to get more diplomacy. I can do that too. Let's just target different guys. See, okay, so they they basically can k kill a whole stack if I group up on them. Only three, though. Which is more than what they got. <laughs> yes, come strike at them again. Go, peasants, go! You can only kill one. You're pretty worthless. And you bring the last death upon you. Oh no, he lost the dwarf. 
and there was much sorrow. Only two dwarves? Wow. That's pretty bad. Um. Yeah. So, I guess go fight the rogues, Sir Uncle Ivan. Can't do much else. And meanwhile, we still can't buy anything here because it hasn't been enough time yet. We don't have, we don't get enough resources yet. So, is there any sort of direction on where I should be looking for this dragon den place thing? Or do I just need to search the entire map? That seems likely, but... I would like to know at least a general area I should be searching. Right, okay. Yeah, stop that. They're just having a one on one duel there. Ha! Huh? Let the peasants handle these ones. Earn your keep, peasants! That's right, you don't have a place in this army if you can't earn your keep. You stop it. Killing all my damn sprites. It's not like it matters. Eventually I would be getting rid of those if it's possible. If I can somehow miraculously find a way to get the um, phoenix. You come upon an ancient artifact. As you reach for a pack of rogues, leap out of the brush to guard their stolen loot. Well, all right then. You want to try that again? <laughs> you really want to protect that stolen loot that badly? Is that important to you? Yeah? Is it? Because, uh, you're not looking too hot. In fact, you're looking dead. Thank you. Come again. Advanced wisdom, and I earn the telescope. One extra square of something. Can you defeat the rogues? I mean, he just kind of proved how weak they are, but <laughs> Ivan's not very strong either, so uh, he's definitely not fast, that's for sure. All of the rogues get to go first. Sure, why not? Not like I have any use of going first. And I'm combining three sets of troops too. I've got bad morale. I just realized because I've got the dwarves still. Why didn't I drop the dwarves off? Damn it! I should have. That was my thought process. Well, that was my idea. Was I was gonna. Just have Ivan be a delivery boy. He was gonna collect the dwarves and then drop them off at the castle every week. But maybe I don't need to, because maybe they're not gonna actually be that big of a problem. That's right. I've weakened you so you can't actually kill them. Kill the orcs, so good job. Die, buddy. Good job, Ivan! You got through a fight and you lived. And you were able to find this place. Whatever this place is. Still don't get anything. What is the day? Day seven. I always do this on the day seven. Ah yes, the or an orcish witch doctor living in the hut deepens your knowledge of magic by showing you how to cast stones, read portents, and decipher the intricacies of chicken entrails. Sure. Why not? Makes perfect sense. What are these? 
Uh, you found a group of druids worshipping at one of their strange stone edifice edifice edifices. Silently, they teach you new ways to cast spells. Well, Ivan doesn't know how to cast spells. Approach the witch hu the hut and observe witch inside studying an ancient tome of luck. As you approach, she turns and speaks. You already know that of which I could teach you. I could help you no further. Well, fine. Didn't want your help anyways, lady.